Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. With all the money he's made from all those years of traveling and collecting royalties, he's undoubtedly worth hundreds of millions of dollars. However, when his huge real estate holdings are taken into account, he's now a billionaire. Here's a look at all of Paul McCartney's opulent residences. So without further ado, let's get right down to business. Number 5. The Penthouse in Manhattan only The Shining's very own Jack Nicholson can rival Paul McCartney in terms of real estate and property valuation. Nicholson owns a vast assortment of homes spread out in areas like Aspen, Colorado, Hawaii, and Beverly Hills. His $15.5 million triple-plex penthouse in Manhattan, which he bought with his wife Nancy Shevel in 2015, was one of his most expensive acquisitions. The three-story penthouse, which is immediately across from Central Park on New York City's infamously elegant Fifth Avenue's Museum Mile, has around 3,500 square feet with four bedrooms and 4.5 bathrooms. The building boasts an all-glass contemporary front, while the unit's inside has a 1960s look, with a total of 10 rooms according to Dirt.com. White marble flooring, double height ceilings, mirrored walls, and a floating marble staircase adorn the L-shaped lobby and gallery. Other notable features include a wraparound terrace that spans the structure's 40-foot breadth and 30-foot wide floor-to-ceiling windows in the living room that give a picturesque view of the Central Park Reservoir. However, as grand as this structure seems to be, the Beatles legend is selling it for $8.5 million, a significant discount from its purchase price. Number 4. Amassing Wealth Wine, real estate, and money are among the few things in life that retain or even rise in value as they age. While we don't know the extent of Paul McCartney's wine collection, we do know that his riches date back to his real estate investments. He's got some old cash, there's a lot of it. According to Celebrity Net Worth, the legendary Beatles band musician has collected a remarkable $1.2 billion in his professional career and during his time with the Beatles, making him one of the most successful music writers and performers of all time. Number 3. Courtney Loves Mansion for decades, McCartney's flair and appreciation for the finer things in life has been well known. McCartney and his late wife, Linda Louise McCartney, bought the punk singer and actress Hollywood Hills Mansion for $4 million in 2001, prior to purchasing his New York City penthouse in 2015. According to the Los Angeles Times, the billionaire singer only acquired the French country-style mansion because he was bored of paying for hotel rooms with his wife in LA. The mansion, however, has a history since it was formerly held by Ellen DeGeneres, a television celebrity and Hollywood actress, before being purchased by Love in 1997. After a few years, Love decided to sell the estate because she wanted to spend more time in New York, where she later bought a $2.8 million apartment. The four-bedroom, 4,700-square-foot mansion is as experienced and expensive as its owner. It was built in 1938 and has been renovated to include a gated driveway, stone walls, strong mature trees, and a lovely swimming pool. The main home, which covers 16,400 square feet as well as two guest buildings each over 5,000 square feet, are situated on 4.25 acres of property. Courtney Love's Beverly Hills house was obviously something money could buy, but it's unknown how many years he lived there with his wife. Number 2. Other Properties Owned Previously, the former Beatle occupied a penthouse on Manhattan's Upper East Side. McCartney paid $15.5 million for the 10-room, two-story apartment, with floor-to-ceiling windows on Fifth Avenue's Museum Mile in 2015. However, the Wall Street Journal reports that he recently sold it at a loss. The famed singer-songwriter still owns his Arizona ranch and many homes in England, including his sprawling 150-acre estate known as Blossomwood Farm in the East Sussex town of Peasmarsh. Number 1. Paul's East Hampton Cottage Aside from his money being able to symbolically purchase Love's castle at Courtney Love's vast estate, there are certain things that Love may inspire one to buy that aren't super expensive but yet signify a lot. This is precisely what prompted McCartney to acquire a small home in a Maganset, a hamlet in East Hampton's borough of East Hampton. Unlike the cases of Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, whose love led to ugly divorces and property divisions, Paul McCartney's $495,000 purchase was motivated by his love for his wife Linda, who died in 1998. According to Good City Living, McCartney not only purchased the modest property, but also the 22 acres that surrounded it. After Linda's death, the Camp Buy Me Love singer married Heather Mills for four years in an effort to rekindle the flame of love. McCarthy acquired another home on a tiny cul-de-sac near his property at the request of his new wife, who did not want to live in the same house as his former wife. 
The 2300 square foot modern house has a warm kitchen, three bedrooms, an entertainment center with a wine cellar and a pool. The house, which was listed for $1.725 million in 2015, following McCartney's divorce from Mills in 2008, was taken from curbed Hamptons. Despite his advanced age, McCartney still has the capacity to captivate audiences with his timeless songs. For example, he was traveling the globe with big names like Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Jennifer Lopez only five years ago, collecting $4 million each city. He's kept his musical prowess, as well as his opulent financial fortune and property portfolio. This video has reached its end. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you for stopping by to watch. Good luck and safe travels till the next video.